my clarinet players, I'm very happy for you that you have decided to pick a very cool instrument to learn this year. So here we go, let's get started. Uh, by now, you should have your clarinet cases with you, and they're all a little different. Some of your clarinet cases might have a zipper. This clarinet case has latches, so you just have to find out which one, you know, you'll, you'll know how to open yours. Um, look on your case. There might be a label on it, possibly. You need to know which is the top of the case and which is the bottom of the case. If you open the case wrong, the instrument can tumble out. Which brings me to this point. Before you open the case, make sure you're not sitting in a chair with the case on your lap. If you're doing that, the instrument could fall out and parts could break. So I, two options I think you have. One would be to sit on the floor with the case in front of you or sitting at a table with the instrument on a table. I'm standing here and the instrument is on very secure on a cart. So that's, those would be your options to do that. All right, so opening up the case. On mine, the latches lift up. Again, yours might be a zipper. I lift those latches up. I open up the case. And here we have our clarinet. All right. So I'd like to go over the parts of the instrument. It's very important so when we're talking about it and learning, if I mention a part, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So in this video, Again, I'm going to show you the parts, and then we're going to put together what I call the mini clarinet. We're not putting the whole clarinet together on this video. That'll come soon. So starting at the bottom of the instrument, we have what's called the bell. It kind of looks like a little dinner bell. Then we have the body of the instrument, and the body of the instrument is broken up into two parts. This would be the lower section, the lower part. It has a lot of keys on it which you'll see soon that the upper does as well. The lower section, we're gonna know because it has this little part here that our thumb will rest underneath. Okay, so that's the lower section. The upper section, like I said, has a lot of keys. The part that makes the upper section different is on the back, it has what I call a little teardrop key and it has this open circle, like there's a hole in the clarinet. You'll see other places have holes as well, but the back of the upper section has one underneath the teardrop. Okay. That's the upper section. Then we have what is called the barrel. In your case, you will also find your mouthpiece. The mouthpiece has a mouthpiece cap. It has a metal thing. Sometimes they're gold, sometimes they're silver. It's called the ligature. And we have the mouthpiece. My mouthpiece is red. Yours will be black in your case. Either color doesn't matter. They both work. And we have the very important reed. We'll be talking about that in a moment. A little reed there. We also have, in your case, something that looks like chapstick but it's called cork grease. And what we do with the cork grease, we open the lid up, and on your different sections, the lower section and the upper section, we have these brown things, and they're called corks. When we, we have to slide the instrument together, these corks need to have grease on them so that they fit together easily. So you see how I'm putting it on there lightly? That's all you need to do on all the different corks of the instrument. If you look at your case and look at your clarinet and count, you'll see one, two, three, four places where you need to apply the cork grease. All right, so let's begin now putting our mini clarinet together. We're going to take our mouthpiece. We've already greased the cork on our mouthpiece and the barrel. There are two openings to the barrel. One is wider than the other. The wider one doesn't work because it, it just falls right out. The smaller opening will be a little snug, a little tight. So what we're gonna do is hold our mouthpiece in one hand, the barrel in the other, twist and push those together, okay? That is the barrel and the mouthpiece. The next thing you need to do is find yourself one of the reeds in there Carefully take the reed out. You can see how I do that. I carefully take that out. We do not want to break 
the tip of the reed. That part that I'm touching there, make sure you never really touch that. When we put it back, when we're done playing the clarinet, when we put the reed back, I carefully put the reed back in that case. That protects it. We want to put the thinnest part in first. Okay. Now after we've taken the reed out of the case, we take the reed, and we put it in our mouth. We have to get the reed wet in order to play. Not soaking wet like if you were to put it under a water fountain or a sink or something, but just in your mouth, just moistening it a bit. And after you've done that for maybe 15, 20 seconds, it's ready to put on. Now I want you to notice, I'll bring this close for you, there is a curve of the reed. See the curve? And there is a curve on the mouthpiece. What we're going to do is try to line the curve of the reed up with the curve of the mouthpiece. Now on your reed, one side is perfectly flat, one side is rounded. It's the flat side of the reed that goes on the mouthpiece, like that. So I'll bring this closer for you. I'm still holding it down with my fingers, but you can see how the curve of the reed lines up with the curve of the mouthpiece. It has to be right. If it's tilted this way, it will not work. If it is down like that, it will not work. If it is high, like that, it will not work. So you want to have that roundness of the reed lined up perfectly with the roundness of the mouthpiece. You take your ligature and you slide it down over top of the reed. There are screws on the side of the ligature. You want those to be on the right hand side of the reed. When you pull the ligature down, you want it to come down below the edge of the mouthpiece, right there. So good, you can pull that down. I have a slightly different ligature that works with my mouthpiece, but yours is just how I described it. After you put that on, you now have the mini clarinet, okay? now. We're gonna talk about putting, taking it apart and putting it back in the case right now. Then you'll see another um, video right down below this one where I demonstrate how to make our first sounds on our mini clarinet. So if we do this all in reverse order, we take our ligature off, we take our reed off, we put it back in the plastic case, okay? That's very important. We need to make sure the reed is kept back in our plastic case so that we prevent it from breaking. We take our mouthpiece and barrel. We take those apart. We put the barrel back in. We put the ligature back over top of the mouthpiece. No need to tighten the screws. We put the mouthpiece cap back on the mouthpiece. We put that in our case. Now when we I'm switching this around for a reason. I have it in wrong now. But if you close your case and you see that the case is still lifting up, that means the instrument is not put together, put in there correctly. So you wanna make sure before you push down the case, check out the instrument, make sure you have lined it up correctly. The case should close perfectly like that. You close your latches. And you're all set. All right. Great job, guys. Look for the next video below, and we'll work on our very first sounds. See you next time.